I'm actually overwhelmed. I don't even know how to act or what to do. A row of three by five banchan is another one of their signature dishes here. Oh, the undegu. See, I told you, that thing just melts in your mouth, right? Look at that row. <laughs> it's good to know that it's healthy. Oh, man. I can never go back. Every bite of dumpling has to be with kimchi. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day at Smart Queens and welcome to Los Angeles. Good morning, Steve. Hello, hello, Mark. <laughs> awesome to hang out with you today. Likewise. And today we are gonna go on an ultimate Korean food tour of Koreatown in Los Angeles. I think it is the number one hub and the biggest Koreatown and center of Korean culture outside of Korea in the world. It is. For no sure, doubt right? About it. No doubt about no it. No doubt about We're it. gonna take you on an ultimate Korean food tour of K Town, Los Angeles. We're gonna be eating noodles, we're gonna be eating marinated crab. We're we're gonna be eating a special duck dish. We're gonna be eating barbecue. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna eat a lot of delicious food and share all of the Korean food and this entire ultimate tour with you right now. So Steve, mm -hmm. where are we going first? So first we are going to this place called MDK Noodles, which is one of the most popular traditional noodle houses in Los Angeles in Koreatown. They specialize in fresh handmade noodles, especially what's called their kalguksu, which is the Korean style knife cut noodles. Doesn't that oh, sound yeah, exciting? Awesome. It smells so good in this kitchen. You smell that lactic acid. There's barrels of kimchi going, buckets of garlic flying around the kitchen. The pre-aromas of a Korean food tour. Oh man, I'm hungry. Looks like cheese curds. It seems that they make these giant noodle rolls, which almost look like paper towels, before they're then set aside and rest, and then they slice them into the noodles. But what a cool machine. It kind of kneads and pushes them and then like flattens it out into a, a roll formation. Man, those are fresh noodles that you're guaranteed to get here. From here, we're gonna run to the kitchen where they're gonna, where Auntie is gonna cook. Oh man, there's just about 12 pots of boiling broth and meat juices and sauces all over the place. And then if you come to the back there, that's where they're gonna boil the kalguksu, the noodles, but then also they have this amazing steamer for the mandu. It smells so wonderful. Oh man, what a, I didn't even see those trays of food over there. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you eat all this, Mark? Mm. Oh, bibim, bibim soup. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, so it's like a bibim noodles. Yeah. Instead of a bibim bak. Yeah. Bibim yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mix, mix,
<laughs> bibim guksu. So bibim kind of means like mixed, right? A mixed, so it's almost a mixed whoa. Mixed noodles. Mixed, and then the guksu are those noodles. Yep. Which he used green noodles. Wow. Oh, the mandu is ready. Wow. She can cook, man. Serious, man. Yeah. Auntie's skills in the kitchen. I, I don't even have time to, to process what she's doing. She's just flying around the kitchen, like through volcanic steam baths, through boiling juices and noodles. Everything is ready. And she's probably still like running around making more dishes, like right now. Oh, a soybean. Uh, Soybean sauce. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, oh man. Man pork Man pork. Oh man. Um, not fully. <laughs> no. Talk about working brisk in the back of that kitchen, man. They just fly ante. She's the Korean auntie you want to have. This is truly going to be an ultimate tour, yeah. Jeffrey is also joining us for a quick breakfast this morning. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I think we better start with the, the mandu because yes, they're like you. right out of the steamers. You want to catch those while they're hot. All right, Mark, are you ready for the first bite of this entire tour? One bite? Yes. Let's go. Let's cheers. 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 Boom. Mmm. Mm. That is so comforting. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, I immediately taste the shrimp in there. <laughs> mm -hmm. The the bouncy texture of them. Oh, it's such a good mixture of meat, shrimp, and herbs in there. Maybe chives? Yes, chives too. You can see all, all the colors inside through the dumpling and then it doesn't break apart. Yeah, I okay. think that's something I love is that the, the skin is so thin. So the owner mentioned that we one of the special moves, one of the signature things to do here because they're famous for their kimchi is take some of the kimchi. And I hope we do this correct. I'm gonna put this into the bowl. Take one of the dumplings onto the kimchi and kind of wrap the, wrap the kimchi. Is this the correct method? Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Kimchi flavored. Flavor explosion in oh, your mouth. Oh man, the extra punch from that kimchi. Wow. Yeah. The ultimate move right there. Absolutely, and oh. everything is like just made fresher. So you can really taste the difference, right? I can never go back. <laughs> Every bite of dumpling has to be with kimchi. <laughs> Forever. So right. we right. minced meat on top. There's, she added in these fresh noodles. Um, let's just serve ourselves some of the. That's quite a noodle bowl. Here. Quite a noodle bowl. Come on over. I've got a. I got you, bro. You got me. <laughs> Don't let go, man. Don't let go. <laughs> Don't let me drown. These are the fresh noodles that we saw them make and that they slice in the back there in the factory before boiling them up. There's little dumplings in there. There's a chive mixture, there's onions, and then there's that minced meat that they put on top. So. No, you definitely need to eat this one to become your signature dish right here. Signature dish. Yes. All right, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. That's just warm and comforting. The freshness of the noodles, the soup is not overpowering, it's just soothing. 
feels just like eating in Korea, right? <laughs> you would not know you're not in Korea. Mm. And oh, then we just got, I think this sauce might be for the kalgusu. A little bit, yeah. Okay. It looks kind of like a chili oil, not too much. It might be salty, okay. This is like the type of dish that anybody could eat. Yes. From, from young to old, everyone can appreciate. Mmm. Okay, next up for the bibimguksu, which are, the noodles are green, but she said it's from, they're not like matcha tea noodles. These are made from corella, which is some type of seaweed that she mentioned. And man, I loved how she made this. Yeah, let's just mix it. tear in. Should we mix it or should yeah. we just, we gotta, oh, you gotta, yeah, to it, go for so. it. Whoa, you wanna help me, Mark? Yes. Okay. And, and, you know, this thing is very sticky, so I'm just letting you know that you, some people, I wonder if you have to cut this thing. The noodles? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. The hand of God. Okay. All, All right. right. That makes things easier, right? Yes. All right. There's pickled vegetables in here, there's kimchi, there's a variety of sauces. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That's mm. refreshing. Mm. Oh, wow, yeah. She took them out of the hot water, put them under ice water, really like massaged them, made them into a ball, like literally like squeezed them out like a towel and then put them in your bowl, making sure they're icy cold. Slippery, cold, there's so many combinations and contrasts here. And They're it's incredible. Not terribly spicy too. No, it's no, 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 it's more yeah. of like a, a sweet, soothing chili sauce. Yeah, not like, you know, about to mm. die spicy. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Just love those noodles. <laughs> so good. Soybean milk That's with the same green noodles on the bottom. Kongoksu, yeah. This right. is really one of the most unique and traditional Korean dishes that you absolutely need to try, especially if you want to be introduced into the wonderful world of Korean noodles. You ready, Mark? Oh, yes. It looks and feels like the texture of a protein shake. Like yeah. it's like oh. foamy and thick. <laughs> oh, but man, perfectly coating those noodles. Look at that. Wow. All right. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Boom. Whoa. The purity of it. It's, it's like very earthly, doesn't it? Tastes like it? Very nutty. Nutty, yeah. Soybeans, I believe soybeans and you taste the sesame in there. There's very healthy taste to it. Minimal. Very minimal, yes. Yes. Exactly. I mean, if I had the flu or something, um, you know, like instead of chicken soup, I wouldn't mind having that. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm just gonna set my dumplings onto this tray of kimchi. Nice, bro move. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set that directly onto, just cover it in kimchi, both top and bottom. Doing okay there? Oh, oh yeah. Double kimchi, triple kimchi. <laughs> the mandu sandwich. Mm. I think it's one of the more garlicky kimchis that you'll ever have. It's also a pretty fresh kimchi. It's not. You don't take, taste much lactic acid. It's mostly the, like the, the stage where it's, it's very new. It's not too ripe. Man, the quality, the freshness of everything is what really stood out. Absolutely. So good. But we're not done quite yet. Oh, not even close. <laughs> <laughs> we're on our way to the next place. And next up, we're going to a place that's called Soban Restaurant, one of the legends of Korean food in Los Angeles. And one of the great things about this restaurant is that it was Jonathan Gold, who was truly one of the most remarkable food writers mm -hmm. in the, the world has ever seen. Unfortunately, he's not with us anymore, but his writing, his uh, food advice continues. And this was one of his favorite Korean restaurants. Absolutely, it's also a Michelin guide restaurant. Oh, cool. Really one of the best uh, high quality, traditional Korean dining experiences you can have in Los Angeles. Small, it's friendly, it's like homey, and we met with the owner, so nice, so friendly. From what Steve told me is that the husband is the one who cooks the dishes, but the wife makes all the banchan and does all the pickling, makes the kimchis. So what a team, it's family run. Uh, like extra. 
we're getting an exclusive look yeah. here in the back in the kitchen of Soban where Mr. and Mrs. Park cook and prepare the dishes. Oh, it's an honor to be back here in such a legendary restaurant. Just straight home cooking. Oh yeah. So super excited that especially that green, green onion. onion going. Rice cake. Oh, rice cake. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm seeing. Rice cake. And it's the uh, high vegan. Yeah. yeah so we've got the the fish stew. We've got the. Kaibi Jim, which is the beef short rib stew. He's just heating up some stone bowls and those are gonna go into them. Wow, it smells unbelievable in here. Wow. That was happening. Wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ready. Oh, 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 man. Oh, wow. Caramelized. Oh, that smells insane. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Octopus. Laksi, Laksi okay. Boku. Laksi Boku. Yeah. Garlic. Yeah. Ginger. Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Chile. Yeah. Chile. Octopus goes in. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. That is yeah. some cooking skills. Yeah, thank you. Experience. That was incredible. That final octopus dish, that final octopus dish was just absolutely amazing. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. That was so good. So good. Okay. We cannot wait to eat. All right. Yes, okay. Thank you. All right. Baby. Thank you.
This is a uh, roasted peanuts with baby anchovies, uh, dried uh, daikon radish. It's a Korean green. It's in the Astor family, um, and that has the uh, um, the fermented beef seed and baby uh, anchovies. So this one is like a. A stew with fish eggs. Yes, so there's a little bit of fish roe, oh, some man. smelt in there. We're quite a lot of smelt in there. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> not just a <laughs> So, you know, we do jumped into it. That taco is. They have gone above and beyond. I'm actually overwhelmed. I don't even know how to act or what to do. There's a row of three by five banchan, 15 different banchans. That is a sign of a great Korean restaurant is taking pride in the different banchans because that's really like one of the arts, one of the skills of Korean culinary, like history and, ah, uh, it's that banchan, marinated raw crabs. So it's basically we'll ganjang gejang. Ganjang jekan. Gejang. 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 Just remember the gejang part, you got it right. All right. <laughs> Oh man, pickled for two days, marinated. Look at that row. You ever seen anything like it? Oh man. We just suck it. Suck it. There we go. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. That is sweet, isn't it? Sweet and bitter at the same time. <laughs> just a hint of bitterness, but in like a really good kind of way. Mm -hmm. Like condensed, full force crab. All that like hint of sliminess texture. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Doesn't it just melt in your mouth? It melts in your mouth. You don't need teeth. You don't need teeth. You don't need teeth to eat this. <laughs> just suck it out like a baby. Even a baby can eat mm -hmm. this. Mm. <laughs> oh man. I don't know about you, but I can suck on this all day long. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe out by the beach or the sea. Just have some raw crabs. You have that right. Mmm. The crunch, the crispness of them. Stir fried octopus. Yes. Oh man, he just absolutely like rocked this dish. <laughs> yeah, oh, and in Korean they call it the nakji, which is the octopus. Nakji. Mm. Oh, I can see the tentacles. All right. mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the smokiness, because it looked like fireworks when he made this. They must have added in like 15 different spices and seasonings, chili flakes pepper sauces, sesame seeds, oils, sake. Oh man, so many things went in here. I know, you can really taste the multi-dimensional flavor going on, right? And then all wrapped up within the like, almost like bouncy octopus. Right. That's delicious. Oh yeah. Wow. And it's, it's not that spicy either. I mean, when you look at it, some of these dishes look like they're gonna be burning hot, but it's not like that. No, no, no. Yeah, this one is actually, it's very tolerable. Let me tell you, don't be afraid of this, guys. The codfish. Oh, yeah. This is another one of their signature dishes here. Oh, the undegu. They just boiled this in a, in a fireworks display of sauce and juices, the fish, and sesame seeds. Oh, mm. oh man. Mm-hmm. See, I told you, that thing just melts in your mouth, right? Yeah, so buttery in texture. And then again, just wrapped up with all of that sauce. He layers in the flavors. They're all evident, they're all in there. The pepper flakes, bean pastes, the sesame seeds. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this. And you so haven't good. even tried the radish so good. yet. Oh yeah, oh, the radish man. is a must in here. I love the way radish is used in Korean cooking. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, I got potato actually. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but the potato is awesome too. Really? Okay. Absorbs the flavor. Okay, I found a radish. Yep, it was trying to hide from you. <laughs> you can tell it's a radish by that transparent, a little more transparent than the potato. Mm. 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 Mm hmm. It's so juicy. It's so juicy, it's so, again, it absorbs the flavor of that stew. Mm. Oh wow, we've got banchan for days here. Yeah. Mm. Mmm, the complexity of flavor. I mean, from fresh to fermentation, from sweet to spicy to salty to, it's very textural as well. You'll find some that are very soft and tender, others that are crunchy and chewy, others that, that have 
totally different textures to them. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's a beautiful, sweet, and saltiness to it. Mm. And nutty, like leathery, yet crunchy at the same time. So next up for the Kai Bee Jim, which is the beef short ribs, and she sliced it off the bone, but it's still blazing hot in here. Seriously. Look at that. Oh, man. Yeah, so in English, they call us the uh, braised short ribs, green style. Braised short ribs, all right. Let's go, Steve. And thankfully, they cut this up already for us. That is nice. Yes. They slice it off the bone for you. Oh, wow, wow, I got a big piece. I didn't know if I did that on purpose, but okay. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Soft yet stringy. Mm -hmm. The mix of fat and meat. You taste the flavor of the plum in there. Yes. I saw that they added some dried plums in there. So it has a fruity sweetness to it, contrasting the pepper flakes. And by the way, they can um, oh, adjust man. the spiciness of it. So it can be mild, it can be a little bit spicy. So just FYI for you guys. Mm. Wow, that's pretty good. Oh, dude. Mm. I can tell you're having a good time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unbelievable Korean food here. Dip it in the sauce. Oh man, I'm gonna be generous with my dips. Cheers, man. <laughs> Mm. Mm. That sauce makes all the difference. Just comforting. Mm -hmm. But a mix of seafood kind of like all mixed together, all made into an almost paste-like consistency for a pancake batter, oh, fried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we just have one more to try. They call it the, the roe, fish eggs. Fish eggs and... Mm. The texture, I love the texture of fish eggs. Uh, it's crumbly. It just dissolves in your mouth because there's so many of those eggs just all together. Mm-hmm. Okay, Ooh. I think we've sampled everything here. We have a massive table of food to eat. And we're gonna stay here for a while where you're gonna finish off the rest of the food. Seriously, just straight home cooking with so much passion, so much love, and so much preservation of Korean ingredients and techniques. Truly a special restaurant, man. Absolutely, so. Wow. Yeah, I would say that for you guys, if you are looking for very traditional, home-style, high-quality Korean cooking that's non-barbecue related. If you want to try yeah. something different, mm -hmm. this is the restaurant you got to try because we always think of going the barbecue route, which we are going to go, by the way, but if you got to try the, the traditional stuff, just like we're doing right now, right? Isn't it so great? This is awesome food. Yeah, oh, absolutely man. sensational. Chero in there. And then you mix the white rice oh. in there. Okay. And so like the bowl, and you mix good all the tamale and the roe and then if you'd like you can even add like a little bit of sesame oil oh, yeah so this was chilled put the rice oh, inside yeah, just oh, man. right in there mm -hmm. oh, mark doesn't look so awesome oh, so yeah. in the corners there's a lot oh. wow it's almost like something with that roe like almost like a porridge in some ways Mix it, you eat it like that. That's so, a tiny bit of sesame oil. Man, you're a chef. With the rice, a little bit of sesame soil, sesame oil drizzled on top. Oh, mm. Man, oh, that is oh, quite yeah. unique. Oh, you taste that roasted sesame oil and the sweetness of the roe. Mm -hmm. And then she was telling us uh, that in the crab recipe, that sauce includes 24 different ingredients which are boiled down. That, that sauce, mm -hmm. it's just killer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Celery. Mm. Oh, the freshness of that, the crunch of the celery, the wild sesame. Next banchan, and Auntie said that she actually grinds her own acorn flour to make this. Everything is by hand. Mm. Oh, the texture. So silky, so smooth, so neutral tasting. Finishing off with some, Auntie made some of her own, mm -hmm. uh, like plum tea. Yeah, is that like a plum tea? Plum tea? Ume. Like a fermented plum. Okay. okay. Fermented plum tea. Mm. Oh. You can taste oh, that fermentation. Which is good for the digestion. Oh yeah. Two years fermented. So that came out of one of those jars. Oh, just like everything. Her knowledge of pickling and preservation is 
everything about this restaurant. That's it, like huge. It's unparalleled. So bun. Mm. Wow. Great way to end off the meal. This is so good. I cannot recommend Soban enough. Absolutely a legendary restaurant. Incredible food, incredible family. Whew. That was extraordinary. We are now going actually right across the street for the next meal. It just turned into such a massive day of Korean food that I had to split this video up into two parts because you don't want to miss any of the Korean food action. In part two, we're walking right across the street to eat a unique barbecue meat oh, and the man. greatest ever fried rice. Cheers, Ready? man. Okay. Steve is gonna take me to eat my first Korean dog. Oh! oh. <laughs> and then we'll finish with an epic Korean barbecue. So keep on watching part two for lots more delicious Korean food. Mm. Oh man, all the juices are just pouring out.